I'd like you to take a moment and look at something here. And I mean, really, take a look. This is a black hole from the latest update to Space Engine. That is the General Relativity Update. And as you may expect from that name, it improves black hole accretion disks as well as other gravitational effects. Now, the specific black hole we're looking at right here is the Gargantua black hole, the one from Interstellar, and it has been added into Space Engine as a mod. Of course, this is far from the only black hole. In fact, billions of them exist throughout Space Engine's 100 billion different galaxies. Now, for me, there's one thing that's especially interesting about Space Engine, and that is, it's not just a collection of graphical effects. Rather, everything you see here is simulated according to real-world physics. Additionally, everything you can find exists on a true one-to-one -one scale, and it also includes full orbital mechanics. Now, there's not many pieces of consumer-grade technology out there capable of doing this. In terms of gaming, it really only comes down to Space Engine, which, whilst not really a game, is a great simulation. Outside of that, there is of course Elite Dangerous, which is a game, and also realistically models its galaxy. Although to be perfectly fair, Space Engine and Elite Dangerous are light years apart when it comes to graphical quality. Space Engine wins out just about every single time, and by a long margin. There's a lot of different things that appeal to me about Space Engine, of course I've spoken about them in the past. One of them, obviously, is exploration. Another is the developer's constant drive to improve not only the graphical build to the graphical quality of the sim, but also everything it simulates. The general relativity update then really is quite a significant push. Currently, it's available on a public beta if you have access to the Steam build of the title. It's a relatively small update in terms of size, around about 700 megabytes. Yet, despite its size, as you can see, it is an update that's had a dramatic effect. That said, it is worth keeping in mind that this update is still in beta, so there's still a few issues that need to be resolved. But that said, it does look extremely impressive. Now, all of this does bring me on to a somewhat broader subject, and it's one I started in a recent video. And that is the question, are space games changing? I'll link the previous video on the screen right here, you can also find it in the video description. But I am working on a follow-up video to this subject, it is, like I say, a pretty broad topic. So here is the core theme to that topic, and that is, space games, in this case specifically space simulators, seem to be moving away from what once gave them their core identity. Now, I don't want to go into that subject too deep in this video, like I say, there is a follow-up video coming. But the whole concept of the space side simulation that we see here in Space Engine always puts me very much in mind of that topic. Back when Elite Dangerous was first announced in 2012, and then released later in 2014, there was a great promise there. The promise of a fully simulated galaxy that would hopefully evolve over time. Of course, it has evolved, but quite opposite in the direction to what I might have expected. And that evolution has been downwards towards boots on the ground. And this is a theme that's shared by other space sims. Another example, of course, is Star Citizen. It's the idea of working downwards towards an ever more detailed micro level of gameplay and world building. In concept, it's an absolutely fantastic idea. The notion of moving around as an avatar, as a physical character inside these vast, vast universes. But by the same token, it seems that something is being missed something rather fundamental. And that inextricable concept, of course, is space itself. Something that fewer and fewer space sims seem to be focusing on. It's why, for me, Space Engine stands out so much, because it's a sim that goes in completely opposite direction. Here, space is very much front and center. It gives a true sense of being out there in the mysterious black, the depths of space, the unknown, and what's more, it's an area of unfathomable beauty and constant discoveries. And sure, why some space games do have this, as time moves on, it seems to be less and less of a focus, with ever decreasing development time focused on those aspects. Space Engine then stands out in stark contrast. Again, just take a look at this. 
it really does highlight what's possible. Do let me know your thoughts and feelings on all of this in the comment section below. I'd love to hear from you. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.